Welcome back to Scott's Gadgets, Games, and Technology. Hope everybody had a good time with their free ships last week. Hey, stick around for the end of the video this week. We're going to have another cool giveaway. Stay tuned. Now we're going to play some fun games. Hey, welcome back to another week of EVE Online. Um, I am just wanted to show something real quick. I'm just... Going, getting ready to dock at a station one jump away from Jita. I'm going to buy a skill extractor and show how they're used and how to convert that into a skill injector once you use it and put it back on the market. Um, well, or sell it on the market. Uh, you know me, I don't like to do sell orders when I can do a, a quick sell for just as much. So I'm docking at a, at a player station just one jump away from Jita. Apparently, a lot of people like to set up camp one jump away from Jita because you're right close by and you can offer some better prices and get some good sales and, and make taxes on that. So anyway, I'm going to open up the market here and I'm going to look at the uh, skill extractors. And you can see on station here, they're going for $342 million. And then uh, the large skill injector... There are buy orders for 779. No, yeah, 770 right now. So it's not quite double. Oh, yeah, it is over double the money right there. So I'm going to buy this extractor right here on station. And you'll see the buy order for 342. I don't know if you remember last week, I got just a little over 600 million. So it's going to take over half my, my ISK for that. So I'm going to buy that, and it's going to show up right here in my item hanger. There it is. So I'll go ahead and close this. Now one thing I don't know if anybody's told you or if you've done any research, to use a skill extractor, you have to be out of your ship. Um, so that means if you right-click your ship, you can go to leave ship, and it's going to put you in a pod right here in the station. Your ship's safe and sound, no fears. Um, anyway, now you can right click on the skill extractor and uh, activate skill extractor. When you do that, it's going to pop up here with a list of all your trained skills. As soon as that populates, a little bit of lag today. Now, it's your whole skill tree of all your skills that you have. And uh, what you'll see here, make that a little. When you open up one of these trees, these are the three, the skills that are in under that category that I can extract when they're white like this. So if you go down farther, like that one's not trained here, maybe. I'm sure there's some here somewhere that'll show up. Where is it? Like, wow, well, I guess I'm pretty trained up right now on a lot of these, but. If any of them show up gray or subdued, where it won't let you click on them, which it doesn't look like I'm going to have any like that at the moment, but the name, not the numbers, the not the dots, the name um, will be gray. If that's the case, it means that there's something else that is re that is trained that this skill is required for, and it won't let you extract it if it's required unless they've changed something in the last weeks. But anyway, so I'm going to go up here. So here I have mechanics at level 5. Right now I don't have I don't have a need for mechanics at level 5 for anything. And I can always train that one back up to level 5. So I'm going to pull that one, because you only need 500,000 skill points to fill up this extractor. So that's 258 right there, 256. So I'm going to pull that. You just drag it up to the top and let it go, and it's going to fill it up. You see, I didn't quite get 250. You get there's a some kind of penalty or some skills that you lose when you do that, because um, th there's a you know a price you pay for everything. So from 256, it it gave me 210. So that's fine. So I'm gonna go down the list some more. I'll leave that tree alone. This one's nothing. Normally you need them up around four or five, trained up to like four or five if you're gonna do this. Otherwise. Um, you don't get very many points out of them and you end up putting a whole bunch of stuff to fill up this extractor. So I'm looking for things that are five or four. 
Um, mining drone operations, I'm going to leave that one because I use that all the time. These are all low level. Here's uh, um, capacitor system operations. It's 45,000 skill points at level 4. I'll leave that one. I know I got some other 5s here. Oh, here we go. Power grid management. So that's going to be, you know, stuff you can fit on your ship and use how much power grid it uses up. Um, level 5 is up there. I don't really see that I need that right now. Uh, you always need it, but I can train it up again. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to pull that one off into this extractor. And you're going to see why I'm doing this. Some of you people might think oh, you're crazy because you're getting rid of all these skills, but watch what happens here. So here's uh, gunnery. Um, I only need less than 100,000, like 80,000 more points. There's gunnery for 125, and it's not completely trained to level 5. It's into level 5, but not completely trained. So I'm going to drag that one up here and see how much is left over that. So now the extractor's full. It doesn't look like it might have... Okay, so it took off gunnery 5. That's fine. Gunnery 4 is good enough for what I do. So I'll close these trees back up. It's not a big deal. You don't have to. But I just like to keep it nice and pretty. So anyway, now you'll notice the skill extractor bar where I was dragging the skills to is changed from numbers to it says extract. So now you just simply click on that word extract. And it's going to give you one more last chance. Or no, it did finished. So now it, it filled up the skill extractor and, and turned it into a... Uh, you're, I'm fixing to turn it into a large skill injector. It's in my thing already. Just say done. So now I have my large skill injector in my inventory. And I can go back to my ship or whatever I want to do. So yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get back in my ship. So let's go back to Mech Active. And again, you know, obviously the pod's going to go away. I'm going to be back in my ship. Now I'll go back to my item hanger. I'm going to right click and view market details. Again, we already know because we've already looked at it. Right here on station, I can sell this for seven seventy um, and one thousand three isk. Um, they're selling for seven eighty on station, so I can put a sell order in for seven eighty seven seventy nine and try to get a few more million out of it, nine more million. Or and and I guarantee you, like I said before. I'll be back here every day or every two days or every three days checking, readjusting the price because these things are going to sell like crap. At the, you know, people are always in here. The markets are very competitive and people are always changing their orders to undercut you. But I don't want to mess with that. I don't have time. I, I, I have more things I want to do than sit around in the market. So I'm going to do a, a sell instantly. You know, sell this item. Again, immediate sell. For 770, I'm gonna walk away with 754. That's double my money from what I just had. So I'm gonna hit sell. Boom. There goes my wallet. I got a billion now. I went from 602 million to just over a billion, 14 million. Not too bad. For and those skills that I just took off uh, and put into this skill extractor took me probably anywhere from 10 to 15 days to train. So every 10 to 15 days, I can, I can make, what, 400 million profit after buying the extractor and selling the, the injector? Not too bad. But again, you can't do that with an alpha clone. Um, there's a lot of people out there telling you that you can do this to plex, keep your alpha clone plexed, but it, it's, eh, it's not that easy. First, you've got to get up to five. It's, I've been doing this two years, and I've just now got skills up to five that I can afford to do this with and retrain them every month. So you you can do it with an alpha clone, but it's going to take a long time to get him trained up and get that working. So anyway, that's one aspect of making ISK here that uh, everybody talks about and you see it. Um, again, don't believe all the hype about skill farming to plex your account because you, you, you can't skill farm with an alpha clone. It just ain't gonna work. Um, you got to have a paid account that's running to be able to do this training for these skills. Because even though I made a billion just now, I'm not gonna turn around enough in a month's time to buy the injectors and make enough profit to buy more injectors to keep this going and ha still have enough profit to uh, to plex. 
because it just doesn't work that way. I, I, I mean, I know there's a lot of videos out there saying that, but I haven't been able to do it, and I haven't seen anybody do it on their video. They talk about it, but I've never seen anybody actually doing it. If somebody wants to prove me wrong, feel free to comment and let me know. Link me your video. I'll be happy to watch it if you can show that you're plexing every month an alpha clone doing skill farming because I just don't see it happening. All right, that's it for this little short video. I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. Like I said at the beginning, I got a cool giveaway for you. Just like last week, hit subscribe, like, share my videos. Um, leave me a comment with your character name your in-game character name, and I will uh, contract you a Plex. This week I'm going to give away a Plex to everyone who will leave a comment in the comment section on the video. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.